So I'm going to show you how easy it is to create text and signs in Lightburn using any font you'd like to create things like this Halloween spooky word sign, this welcome sign, this baby room door sign, or even a double layered Christmas sign where you'd have one layer placed on top of a profile cut backboard. So I'm just going to delete these. And if we go to the text tool and click, all we need to do is click on the artboard and start typing. So if we type welcome and zoom in, if we want to change the font, we'll just go to this drop down here. And when we hover over, the font updates automatically. So we can see it live. I'm just going to go down to one called Cheekle and zoom in. And if we press escape a couple of times, then we can now select the word. Up here, we have toggles for bold. So if it has a bold option, we can toggle that on. Same with italic, we can uppercase it. There's a distort option and this welded option. So at the moment, if we look at the sign, we have the C and the O slightly overlapping. If we turn welded on, you can see it automatically joins up. And if we reduce the horizontal spacing, and bring that down, you can see more and more of the text starts to join up. But you can go too far to get everything and then it just looks a bit messed up. So the best thing to do is leave it at zero so they're all spaced out. It doesn't matter if you've got welded on or off, but if we right click and choose convert to path, that then breaks every bit of text up into their own paths. So the E's and the O's will be all separate paths. To fix that, we just need to select both and then right click, click and group. Same with the O, right click and group and the other E, right click and group. So now all of the E's and the O's are all joined up. From there, we can use the arrow keys to move left and right. And if you hold control, you can have a finer movement. So all we need to do is just overlap each of the letters, just a small amount, as you can see. Then we select everything and choose this option here, which is weld. Once we do that, we have the same outcome as if it was welded up here, but with a more fine, finer tuning. Then, if we wanted an outline as a backboard, we could just go over to this offset and click on that. And then in the offset settings, we can choose how much we want to offset by. So five looks good. We can toggle this outer shapes only on, which gets rid of these shapes here and click okay. Now, if we just click and drag the welcome sign off, we can see we've got two separate objects. And that's how to create a welded word sign in Lightburn. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.